Well, good morning. Welcome to Lobster Claws Recovery. Is that off the chain or what? This is amazing. We are out here on Key Biscayne at the water's edge. Something else. Only God could put this together. Just amazing. All right, so we're gonna get started shortly, and it is just before sunrise. Again, welcome to Lobster Claws Recovery, and we're going to have a great adventure today. We have probably two or three sites that we're going to hit, depending on results, and okay, and that's it. More soon. So you see these four guys, they are all friends, and they are, they meet here on Key Biscayne, and they're about to go running. We have a lot of people go running out here, and they go biking. It's a um, very outdoorsy place. Okay, so we've got a quick moment here. And we've got the um, XP, day, XP detectors, pinpointer, the MI6, and um, I couldn't resist. So I got one on Friday. There's the light. I haven't totally figured out how to use it, but I got it charged. And as uh, far as I know, it's set on high high sensitivity, which I like. Uh, anyway, so, all right, we're going to get going here. Nice and gnarly. That's an old ass dime. And this is uh, working out great so far. That was about an 89 or a 90. We are hitting it. You guys can get an idea of what I'm digging in. So, um, quick history of this area. About mm, 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Around that, we got more. Um, uh, they did a uh, complete like redo of this area. Yeah, 83. We're close. Okay, I got it. Let's give the pinpointer a shot because I don't really want to, well, I don't know if you, all right, let me explain what's going on. So, it's a penny. Um, I'm doing my best not to tear this place up because it's built like a layer cake and I don't really want the dark dirt on top. So, here's the rest of the story. So, like 13 years ago. It's kind of hard to see, but what's underneath here is all dirt created by the breakdown of pine needles, of which there were a lot of pine trees here. And best of my knowledge, this has probably not been detected. Maybe, it, maybe, who knows? It's right there. All right, let's see if we can recover it. I'm trying a, a different way without tearing the place up. I'm telling you, I like this pinpointer. Crazy, it's a nickel. All right, so I'm meeting my goal, and the goal is not to tear the place up. 
it's a tiny bit more work. Okay, I got two targets. Let's see if we can find a bug. Okay, got that. I'd say it's a penny. I want to give a shout out to uh, Lorraine at RTG, Riley's Treasure Gold. Who uh, got me set up. Still in here. We've got a worm. He's probably not very happy. Okay, what is this? Yep, got a penny. Um, yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of coins in here. I I don't know if I want to bother digging this. I do have my prospector's pick today. That's a badass pick. And I'm going to show it to you whether I use it or not. Okay, we're on another target. Alright, that sounds pretty gnarly, but... I'm going to dig it anyway. Alright, my, my guess, based on how this sounds, is that it's aluminum. Huh, check it out. It's from a dog collar. The dog's name is Stella. All right, somebody tell Marlon Brando, hey Stella, all right, get it? From that movie, I think that's West Side Story. Um, anyway, uh, where was I? Okay, so uh, RTG, she was gracious enough to give me another one of the cables. Uh, these cables uh, because the other one um, uh, snapped uh, up near the top so let's see we talked about RTG Riley's Treasure Gold and their great deals if you guys are looking for a used detector you should go give them a call she'll ship you ship it to you anywhere in the world um, so now, I didn't get it from her, because um, this is sort of like mining for diamonds in your bathtub, and and probability of you having success. Aha! Anybody want eggs for breakfast? I do believe that's a duck egg. We're gonna leave it alone. That's yeah, probably a penny. But since we're not playing games. And trying to pretend we can see through the sand. Yeah, I still got to use the probe on this. We got worms and who knows what else is in here. Um, stinking zinkin. Don't know what that is. Do I want to know? All right, in the spirit of we're going to find out, I'm going to take this. I have no idea what's on it. It's a penny. Um, I'm going to have a shitload of them by the end of this. Okay, this is not happening. Off we go. Okay, definitely have it. Got it. Oh my god, is that 
That can't be it. No, that's it. It's almost as gnarly as the first one. Okay, we are on a 77 at some depth. Probability says that it is a penny. Uh, perhaps a broken down zinc type penny. Here you can see the dark soil from the previous. Ooh, we got it. Small as tall. See that? So I pinpointed it with the coil. Right? Because I'll tell you something. You don't realize that there may be areas you can detect that are otherwise verboten. The detective. How is that? Well, how am I going to do that without getting in trouble? You may ask. I'm glad you did. That's an excellent question. And guess what? I'm here to answer it. Look at all our friends with the bicycles. We have a lot of people come down here and bike. And I mean by the hundreds. <sighs> if you have either uh, a Japanese garden knife or uh, one of those um, digger tools it's nice and sharp right uh, maybe a brass probe and if you guys are interested I'll tell you how that works and so between those things and the pinpointer uh, you can pop open a section of ground without digging Check out the music. I love it. Yeah, you can do really well. And you'll be in areas where you can't otherwise dig. So what do you do so you don't end up digging, digging a deep hole anyway? Put your sensitivity down like 50, 60, 70, something like that. You're gonna have to experiment with depth at those low sensitivities. But yeah, you'll pull targets. Do the small hole thing again. Right there. By the way, you must be asking, wow, this is an incredible waste of money for digging up pennies. And you know what? I agree with you. Well, that's not a penny, but it's nothing to write home to mommy about. But it is a ring. It's a yin and yang ring. Okay, these are highly valuable in China, okay? Anyway, um, yeah, like, this is like a, you can't even get the scoop in the hole, really. So, I don't know if metal detecting gets any more precise than that. But if you see on your metal detector, uh, if you are in the big screen, we're talking about the XY, correction, uh, not the XY screen, the big screen, the new one that came with version 0 0.7 of firmware. Um, you'll get the big screen, and if you put it in that, you can easily see the depth. You can see it, I think, in the other one, but I think it's more difficult. Anyway, um, and for my eyes, it's probably better in the other one. Uh, and it, you know, but if you find out it, that it's really shallow, there's really even no reason to dig a hole.
This is so much fun. Actually, it is fun. I, I was really happy to be out here. And as um, I spoke about, that is a dime. I don't know it's a dime because it's got. Oh shit. I don't think that's a dime. I think that's silver dime. Yeah, that might be silver. Sure as hell shines like silver. Right? Alright, we're gonna stop rubbing it. And I'll check it later. By the way, if you get coins, dig them up out of the ground, right? Don't rub them like an idiot. Because you, you can go from very fine condition to good condition in a blink of an eye and knock your value, the coin down, knock the coin's value down, knock your value down too, um, knock the value of the coin down quite a bit. So that last target was at like 88, which I find interesting because dimes usually ring a little higher than that. We've got iron, we've got double zero. All right, whatever, 78, let's go for it. And believe me, this beach has got a hodgepodge full of stuff here. Around here, I guess they were, but around here, Elvis Presley filmed one of his movies. Yeah, he filmed one of his movies. So what's my point? Well, um, Beach has a lot of history. This key is cane. Ain't going to get away. Um, they might have silver on them. Gold, sure, always, but... Maybe some old gold. <clears throat> Ugh. This is a bay, B-A-Y, bay. So it's not subject. To the kind of tidal action that ocean, ocean side has, ocean, ocean sands do, ocean side does. There's money all through here. It's a bitch to get out though. I think it's time to go get the other, sh the, um, uh, what are we going to go get? We're going to go get the beach scoop. We're going to ditch this. All right, let's do that. I know, uh, one of my, uh, competition has, uh, his scoop that he's advertising on his website. We won't say who. And I don't mean to badger him about it, but this scoop will run circles around that. And if you guys don't like where the holes are, you want a different arrangement of holes, or you want bigger or smaller, or whatever, we'll make it for you. It's made out of T6 aluminum. They're running about... They're running about mm, 275 for the scoop. You guys will have to chase your own handle, but check it out. That's cute, right? <sighs> little sergeant majors running around, these little fish.
Anybody see a, a cell phone? Anybody? Anybody? That looks like a cell phone, doesn't it? Oh, it ain't. Thought it was. This ain't nothing. I'm scared to look. I'm scared. Alright, well, we got the trash. It's gonna go in the dump. Careful eye reveals a target. You guys see it? All right, so look what we got. I got fed up. Goal number one, do not put pick through my foot. And then we got it out. Goal number two, be careful. Yeah, um, this is a, uh, a prospector's pick. You're not going to normally see this when people metal detect on the beach, but this is not any ordinary beach. This thing is full of lime rock. You see it? Anyway, um, yeah, it can be really good, a tool like this. Okay. Uh, so I'm about to retire from this beach. I've had enough. We're going to go to another location shortly. Let's go have some fun and hunt for dimes and quarters. Because I brought the, the prospector's pick. But this thing. I think it's. What is that? MD500. It's a uh, armored steel. Hardened steel. Really good. All right, I'm done fiddling around. We're gonna get it out. Uh, that's what a scrape looks like. So when you, you use a, a prospector's pick, that's what a scrape looks like. You're gonna take it down three, four inches and you're gonna recheck it. If you're on a beach that has Kalisha on it, you got a couple of choices. Either you bring a prospector's pick, or you bring a beach scoop, and a um, ball peen hammer. I mean, that crap is hard. I know, I felt it. Is that it? I betcha. <sighs> It's a nasty ass sink. Alright, we're not gonna dink any more of this stuff. This was fun. We're just gonna. Uh, quickly look for some quarters. Maybe some dimes. I think I got myself a piece of silver today. We're gonna look in some of these areas where people may have sat, see if we can um, pull a couple of targets. And then we're gonna call it a day. We have what we think is a penny. Scrape back a little bit. Still there. 
Look at all those worms. Those are worms. What about right there? Wow, beach is alive. Right, I got it. Yep, see it? Right there. Didn't take long. Now here it's easy digging. But if you're somewhere where it's not easy digging, well, it was been mostly pennies. What was that? One quarter, a couple dimes. Pull tab, probably. Always got to add the word probably. Oh, look at the puffer fish. Anybody see it? See him? That's a puffer fish. He's headed out, but... See him? There he goes. He probably doesn't think anybody sees his little spotted butt. There's a lot of wildlife here. And I don't think it includes rubber. Look at this. I got it. Oh, there's another one. See him? He's zooming around. This is their world. I have to come out here with um, some skin diving gear. It's just stellar. I'm so grateful to be out here.